Hi guys, Larissa here with Newton Nooks Designs for the January release and today I want to share with you how I created my fun card using the new Sweetheart Tales stamp set which you guys are just going to love these sweet little images and sentiments. Love them! So anyway, let's get started. I wanted to share with you the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper. That's what I'm using today. And you can use any watercolor paper, but I find this is a really awesome product. Um, the first thing you're going to do is trace an image, either that or just freehand. So I freehanded a heart with my pencil and I did it really lightly. Hopefully you can tell. I wanted to be able to uh, come back in and erase it really easily. And then the second thing, you're going to want to use an ink, a light ink for this, uh, just so you don't have any harsh lines. We're looking for that true authentic watercolor uh, design. And therefore I chose to use the VersaFine, which is a water uh, safe ink. And the next thing you're going to do is take your little acorn image and start stamping out your design. Now the fun thing with the little stamps like this is that you can come back in and create a fun designer image in any way that you want. And there's a ton of different ways that you could go about this. Uh, when I first drew up my sketch, I thought maybe I would go all in one direction. And as I got to going, I decided that it was more fun and playful to have the acorns going in all different directions. So it's up to you how you stamp your images, but I find it's really fun to just come in and do them in all different directions. And I'll share with you on this side, if you were to just go and stamp in a straight line, the difference in the image that you would get, just so that you can decide which one you like better. And for my watercolor pencils, I am going to use the Ink Tints watercolor pencils, but there are a ton of different watercolor pencils out there. Faber-Castell has some that I really like, and then there's the Permacolor watercolor pencils. With these, you don't need to use very much ink, so I'm just going to come in and I'm going to use a darker pencil for the top, and I just am going to color on one side of my image because once I add water to this, my color is going to move. And then I'm going to use a really light brown for the bottom half. And I'm just going about this really fast because again, this is watercolor and I just want this to look like freehand. I'm going to come in with my water and I'm just going to Get this wet and like I said you can see that just that little bit of dark brown that I added it creates a lot of color on my image so you're just going to go in and you're just going to watercolor all of your little acorn images and if you want to come back in and add some shading you're going to do that once your images have dried some. And I always like to add a couple different layers. For my next layer, I'd come back in and I'd add just a teeny bit of brown shading down at the bottom just to make the acorn base look a little more three-dimensional. And then I'm going to come back in with a gray light gray and I'm just going to lightly shade around my heart and this is going to create a shadow around the outside of my heart to make it look like it's grounded and not just a heart floating in the center of my card and it's little touches like this that really add 
a lot. Now don't be worried if you think you got too much color. You can always add more water and spread it out. And once this dries, it'll completely go away and you'll only see the part where the color is more most vibrant. And if you get too much water, you can either take your finger or take a paper towel and just wipe it away. And don't worry if you get any smudges. That's the one thing I like about this watercolors. You can come back in with water and pretty much erase anything that you don't like. And you're just going to continue to go around your heart shape, adding color to ground it. And adding more water to fan it out until you get the right shading and what looks good for you and then we're going to come back in and stamp our sentiment in the center of our card and I just love this nuts about you I just think this is too cute and again, I'm going to use the VersaFine, and I'm just going to come back in and stamp that right in the center. And then we're going to take our squirrel image, and we're going to stamp him down. And then I stamped him again on a separate piece of cardstock and cut him out and added him to my card for a 3D element. So you just want to come back in and stamp him kind of down by the heart. And then you're going to stamp him again on another piece of paper. And for the ground, I just want to add some shading to ground him so that he looks like he's standing right beside the heart. And hopefully you get the idea and you can see the difference between the playfulness of the acorns going in different directions or you can also do the acorns going in the same direction and you can kind of see the difference in the looks that you'd get between the two and then the fun water coloring that you can get and then I added some scalloped edges and I added it off to the one side so that I could have some wood grain paper showing in the background. And hopefully you've enjoyed the January release and you'll go and check out all the other blogs and enter for a chance to win the Sweetheart Tales stamp set. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. And don't forget to check out Newton's Nook Designs for the new January release. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.